Hey, Joey B, Mike McSee, this week in the ACFL, and what a week it was. Yes, it was. We had our crystal ball out, and we, we were did. right on a few of them. On a few of them, yeah, we were. We're, we're, we're all right there. And our watch out for them teams also stepped up. Yes, they did. It was a good week. It was a good week. A lot of things changed. We um, had some, yeah, some uh, unbeatens fall. Yeah. Uh, Yep, you know? the top dog in the contact fell. Yes, they did. And yes, we're going to uh, let's just take a quick commercial break and come back and let's get started because we got a lot to do today. As restaurants come and go, it is rare to find an establishment like Steve's Sizzling Steaks. Steve's has focused on excellent food, comfortable ambiance, and a friendly staff. Times sure have changed since Steve's first opened their doors, but what hasn't changed is the family atmosphere that makes Steve's so special. Open seven days a week, Sunday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Located at 620 Route 17 South in Carlstad, New Jersey, or call 201-438-9677 for your reservation. All right, we're back, and we are going to start with uh, with the contact Lee because there's some things that some teams might not know. Right. Uh, what's happening with that in terms of, and I'm, we're not going to call it playoffs. No. Tournaments. Tournaments. Plural. Yes. Plural. By the way, how do you like the hair? I Get love it. Hair. New do over here. I'm huh? telling you, jealousy. Justin the Canes there eat you your heart out. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Uh, speaking of the Canes, twenty-seven nothing over the Bulldogs. Uh, really, kind of expected. Yeah, kind of expected. This defense, Canes defense, looked great in that game. Um, one of the games we got captured. This, they were all over the place. You know, they had no time. Uh, Canes are looking like the Canes. I don't know what else you could say. I thought it was pretty funny because I did this game, and the right. the opening drive for the Bulldogs lasted eight minutes. <laughs> net gain of three yards. Yeah. It was just back and forth with some penalties, and then when the Canes got settled in, Wally got settled in, Pew ran the ball very well. Very well. So you could see them slowly starting to grind now, yeah. slowly starting to get things together. Um, yes, they are. And then the game of the week. Yes. Uh, Warriors over the Kodiaks by great game. an extra point. Yeah, this was a great game. Again, defense was the big, big thing in this game. The Warriors had Jerry on the run. He had nowhere to go with anything. They were on him so quick and just confused him. You know, you were saying we talked after the game. It, he looked confused out there. You know, a little the, bit. There were three things about that game. And in spite of how well the Warriors played, it was still only a one-point game. Yeah. So I want to say that the Kodiaks, um, I don't know, I don't want to say they were dominated by the defense, but the Warrior defense came up big. Leroy in the middle. Must have batted down at least four to five. If you watch the yeah. tape, four to five passes, tipped multiple others. Oh, yeah. I've never seen Dano play a better game. I, I, right off the edge. Uh, right yeah, off was, the edges. And he, he was, had like four or five sacks. He was. I mean, the Kodiaks made it interesting, though. You know, they scored those last two touchdowns in the second half. So they 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 fought back. They well, got they, back in this look, game. They had a great uh, pass, uh, broke a, a pull, yep. went into the end zone for a touchdown. And uh, just the kind of game we kind of because the Warrior defense. I was a little surprised at the Warrior defense. Yeah. I mean, I knew they, they had a lot of fast guys back there. Yeah. But uh, Jerry ran the ball the first three out of five plays and went nowhere. Yeah. And after that, they abandoned it completely. Yeah, Warriors. Warriors are looking good. Yeah, and, and right now, the Warriors are in first place by uh, themselves. Undisputed. 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 Number one. Who would have thunk it? Now. Who would have thunk it? It's tough getting to the top, but it what's is. tougher? Staying at the top. Staying there. So yeah. you can't lose any of your intensity, Jules. Uh, I told you guys I'd give you we'd give you a big shout out on the show this week. You guys played very, very well. Jerry yeah. Nicodiacs, Joe Ma Joe Macho missed Crazy having man. listen missed having five sacks by maybe six and a half inches. Oh yeah, he was on Jules like white on rice the entire game, and he just. Just kept getting rid of the ball. I think Joe ended up with two sacks. Something like that, But he yeah. could have had, easily had six. Yeah, Jules is looking good back there, you know. Joined, had to take over as quarterback. What, I think last season he, he took over? 
and he's really growing into this into this spot. He you know, really he can is. run and he can chuck the ball too, which is nice. You don't know what he's going to do back there. And they're, they're O line, O line, and D line much better, are very much good. better. Very Warriors good. are looking good. They are. Watch out, eight. And here was our first watch out for them game. Yes, it was. Multiple scores them. Boy, I hope I'm saying that right. Scorgasm. Scorgasm. Over the whole guys, 20 to 18 on a two point conversion. Yeah. By uh, the the multiples. Yeah. Again, another team. Uh, MSG is uh, you know. Okay. Call that the M, you know Chinese multiple score. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had to come back on this one too. So another great game. Hawkeyes just fell at the end. They looked. They look decent in this game. Not as uh, as well as I thought they, they've been playing throughout the rest of the season, but they look pretty good. Again, though, this was another defensive dominated game by the scoregasm, especially by them. They they it was it was pressure all day long on both sides. Listen, we, we have and the league has great respect for Barry. Oh yeah. His speed is very, very good. Oh yeah. But as a first time in my life, I saw if you look at the tape. Yeah. I saw a defensive player by the name of Chris uh, play cornerback. Right yep. I mean, he gave Barry, uh, he was on Barry, like yeah. white on rice. He really was. And I'll tell you, this guy got so high up off the ground. First of all, yeah. I got a stiff neck every time I looked up. <laughs> yeah. And it took him three minutes to come down. I mean, this, this kid is a player, Chris. You played an unbelievable defense. And then Chris also caught the tying touchdown. Yes. I mean, this guy went up for the ball, and his hands, he's got great hands. Right. And it was like a vice. The ball hit his hands and didn't move. They would not lose. And also, the, the scores him, multiple quarterback guy is also, the Hawkeyes, we're trying to kick off out of bounds. They didn't want yeah. these guys touching the ball. Yep. The quarterback, they both, him and Chris, run like deers. I yeah. mean, this kid turns a corner like you wouldn't believe. I don't, know, <coughs> I don't understand why teams do that a lot of the times. They kick it out of bounds. You're giving this field, you're giving the other team a half, basically half, half the field to work with. Now, but that's the ultimate respect yeah. for the for the multiples return game. Still. You don't want anybody back there touching a the ball. I understand that, but And they're still they're know. still I don't know, they're still kind of green. Yeah. But boy, I'm telling they're you, they well got right. some players on this team. Yeah, they picked up their first win. Yeah. Over and, a, a good team, a very good team in this And league. when we announce what we have to announce about the contact day, I think it's going to help them dramatically. It, may. it just might. Uh, all stars over to Uso. That was no surprise. No, no. You know, funny. No. All stars. Are, we're talking about the Warriors. We're talking about the Kodiaks. We're talking about the Canes. The All stars are under the they're radar. Under the radar, yeah. And they're still in fourth and, place. And well, they, you know. And they keep winning. Third, they, fourth place. They player. keep winning. That's what they do. That's what they do. And the Wolf Gang, Mike. I think they played their best game of the season. Definitely last the Sunday. best game they've had. Rung up twenty-eight <laughs> points in a matter of moments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only just like that. Omar, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding with you. But uh, Wolfgang got a forfeit win over the Sharkies. Yep. And uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we have to come back and talk about uh, the eight-man tournament. And we'll be right back. Are you in need of a new haircut? Tired of the same barbershop? Come to Sal's Barber Exclusive for our family experience. We have 45 years of business experience in haircutting. We offer the basic hair trimmings as well as stylings. No reservations, walk-ins only. Come on in and see Denise, Monica, and Sal. The number's 201-327-7037. Six Church Street in Ramsey on the corner of Main and Church. Our hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8.30 to 6. Thursdays, 8.30 to 7.30. And Saturdays, 8 to 5. Closed on Mondays and Sundays. Come to Sal, Barber Exclusive. Okay, so the reason we're calling it a tournament, and I tell you, 
JT gets a lot of knocks, yes. but he comes up with some good ideas oh, yeah. to keep the league competitive and give all the teams in the league, no matter how good or how not good they are, a chance, a chance to yeah. get some gold. There you go. So what's happening here, and we were talking <laughs> earlier, and we kind of compared it to the NCAA playoffs, basketball, and the NIT. Yeah, that's it. That's really what it is. So the reason we're calling it a tournament uh, is I'll let Mike take the first part of it with the NCAA. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're going to have the uh, the top six teams, I guess. No, they're top gonna, oh, four. They're going to take the top four. They're going to um, have their playoff through that, or tournament, sorry, tournament style. Tournament there. We're going to um, run through, and then those bottom teams, they're going to have a separate tournament. They're going to have a separate tournament. So in other words, the, the first round for the – you're in a semifinal. Right. Uh, so you're in the final four because unlike the committees that select basketball teams, you earn that right to be a final four team right. by winning games. So you're going to be a final four, semifinal, final. The remaining teams, now you got to take, uh, take out Sharkies. Right. Because they're not there. So that means the remaining teams are eight teams, right? Right. Now, again, if you look at the, I have my standings here. If you look at the standings, that log jam in the middle still exists. Oh, yeah. Because you've got two teams at five and one, one, two, three teams at four and one, yep. two teams at three and two, but now the Bulldogs cannot get in over the Canes. Right. Which I, I don't think was going to happen anyway. No. But uh, the Hawkeyes now, uh, I don't know what their tiebreakers are. Yeah. Uh, but that, that's, that's, JT, but that's to JT to figure, to figure out. out. Right. But, but the good thing about it is, the teams that are not in the top four will have a separate tournament with a chance to compete yeah. for the same tro trophy. Looks the same. There you go. You'll still be called. I don't know what uh, tournament winners of, yeah. of whatever tournament JT decides to give it. Figure it all out. But we said what we're doing the scores. A team like Multiple Scores them who maybe just now is starting to get it together. Right. Okay, so they're going to get an opportunity to play for a... Not that they couldn't beat any of the higher echelon teams. Right. But when you're a new team and you're still learning how to play the game, <coughs> you know, you play in a, in a secondary tournament. The Express are two and three. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting how these last four teams settle out. I mean, right now we got the Warriors, <coughs> Kodiaks, Canes, and All-Stars. If, if, you know, the proverbial, if this season ended today, right. going in, and the bankers would be left out with that with the same record at 4-1. and one. Because they so, lost to one of the top four right. teams. So now these, these that log jam in the middle, they really need to, in the last two weeks, sort it out. get those wins. If yeah, they want to jump up important. into, the, into the, the, the four tournament style, you got to get up there, man. You got to, you got to, you know, the bankers, like I said, bankers, bulldogs, Hawkeyes, Express, you guys really need these next two games, you know, to... to Hopefully propel you into the, the, the tournament. Yeah, and I'll tell you, like right now, Warriors have the tiebreaker over the Kodiaks. Yep. So if they finish with the same record, the Warriors are going to get in over the Kodiaks. I believe the Warriors are going to be playing the Canes. I don't know if they're right. playing them this week or we didn't look Soon, at schedules yeah. yet. I think they have the All-Bulldogs. Warriors-Bulldogs. Warriors, a game the Warriors should win. Yep. Well, that's the six on six. Uh, yes. Sorry. Well, when we look at the schedule, we'll see who, who the Too many of the same teams. Yeah, I'm telling you, it really... Uh, but no, it's really getting. This is pretty cool. It is. It's very nice. It's uh, now you got to really push, not just for seating. You're not just looking to win seatings. You're looking to see which tournament you're going to be placed. Well, in. but I'll tell you what. You are nice. looking for seatings because right. if you're not in the top four, you want to get oh, as no, close no, no. to yeah. that be in that fifth seed right. as you can for oh, the yeah. other. And I'm not going to call it a secondary tournament. No, no, we're not going to call it that. We'll call it the right. NIT. NIT. But anyway, that that's that. So moving on. Yes. Well, let's do the touch next. All right. Okay, uh, we, the touch doesn't get a lot of respect, but we'll do the touch. We'll do the touch. Good right. touch game this week. We had one of uh, which could be, um, what was I going to say? The preview. Preview, thank you, of the final right there with the Bucks and the Slug. And I believe you had a message for me from I Luigi. Did. Luigi. Luigi. Is saying, keep picking against them. Keep picking against You the know, I, I tell you why. you're the mush. I, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you why Luigi made this comeback. Let me tell you. All right. Because he's got nothing left to friggin' hurt. No, he he's doesn't. pulled every muscle in his body, <laughs> every bone. He's had a contusion or something. Yeah. I mean, the only thing, uh, there's nothing left for him to bang up. No. This guy, you know what? He's got. Um, 
He's got stock in ibuprofen. You know why? Yeah, he's he's their biggest there. user. Oh, yeah, but he's still out there. He's back up with, with the All-Stars on 6-on-6. Six six. He's back uh, leading the slugs, man. I, I'm t and I watched him, and you know, the, the, the SLB was moving pretty good. He was moving pretty good. He had a nice little scramble out of the pocket there. Yep. He looked good, man. And, this was and, a good game. This was a really good game. 6-6 and, and six, six at half. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything else. And what uh, would a touch game be without Luigi yelling at one point? He didn't get me. He yes, didn't touch me. He didn't tag no. me. Yes, yes. But let's get <laughs> let's get to the touch. Yeah. Uh, the A team, and I made a mistake when I spoke with you Sunday, because I thought the Grand Street Slaughterhouse had upset the A team, and I had to score and backwards. But the A team, you know, thirty-three twenty. Rolling along. Grand Street Slaughter uh, Grand Street Slaughterhouse going in the wrong direction right yeah. now. Again, then I picked the Wildcats over the Ozone. Yeah. And you know, the Ozone can play defense. They have oh, yeah. athletes on defense. This was a close game, 13-7. You know, both teams, two and three now, right in the middle of the pack. Mm -hmm. You know, that was pretty much... And then, and then the game you mentioned, the slugs over the Bucks, and uh, the slug defense was incredible. And Scotty yeah. had a huge game on offense. He, he sure had did. like six or seven receptions. And I would look, Luigi would do the dump off. Yep. Yeah. And I'm looking for a defender on the film, and there ain't none there. There's nobody there. Yeah, the Bucks were really respecting that, that that deep pass from them. Yeah. You know, but, you know, we've watched the Slugs for years and years now. I mean, you know that they're looking for that dump off. Yeah. Yeah, they have that deep pass, but, you know, especially with JT not being there and the little JT out. Did you see the JT clone in this I game? I spoke the... to JT over the phone. <laughs> I said, man, what was your son or your brother playing in yeah. this game? The guy looks just like him. He does. He As does. a matter of fact, he was a little better looking than the real JT. A little better looking. A little better looking. So, <laughs> so the Slugs get it 25-13. Yep. And when we do, let's see, where are they now in the standings? They're the in third right now, right behind the A team, four, who's 4-1. and one. They're half a game out. Of second place. Now, I, I got to believe that the Slugs and the A-team have a regular season game coming up, or have they played already? Uh, I don't that have I'm not in front sure of. of me. Uh, well, we got to take a peek know. at the schedule this week. Yes. Again, you know, the schedules come out on Wednesday. We tape on Thursday, so we're seeing them basically for the yeah. first time Thursday when we're in here. Pretty much. But, uh, so that's it for the touch, and uh, when we check these standings and the games, uh, excuse me, the games for next week, for this week. Right. Uh, we'll see where we're at. We're going to take another commercial break and we'll hit the six on six when we get back. Here at Anthony Franco's, we take our food preparation very seriously with the freshest ingredients delivered daily from the markets at Hunts Point and the finest pasta from one of Brooklyn's oldest pasta houses. We have a large variety of specialty pizzas, pastas, and sandwiches, along with a cozy dining area for your special events. With two great locations, 556 Route 17 North Paramus and 128 East Main Street, Ramsey. Call 201-447-3999 in Paramus and 201-238-8000 in Ramsey. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, free delivery. All right, we're back with the most competitive division. Yeah. No, I really shouldn't say that because the, the, the they are all competitive. Kind of, they're all this competitive. Is, but this is that high flying, a lot of offense this up is and down a, the field. This is arena football. It is. It this is arena is. football. It, it's awesome though. I love the six on six. Well, let's get right to yes. it. Bears with a twenty-four thirteen win over the yep. Snatch, and the Snatch had no girls with them. At the really? Last week. No. No, no, wasn't so nice. I gotta though, I believe. Uh, I gotta believe that uh, that might have an effect on on the way they play. But Maybe. the Bears, no gym. No gym. They're, they're scrambling around with different players in different spots. But right. uh, they put twenty four up, and, and that was enough to win this game against the Snatch. Right. Uh, we gotta see where the Bears go from here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You know they're capable, but uh, they're short of personnel. Jim's not playing with them. Yeah. You know, and that's a big a loss on team. offense and right. defense because Jimmy you know, played pretty yes, good defense. He does. They're a good defensive team. They just need to work on that offense. And my first upset pick last week, yeah. I picked the purple, purple label, label over BP, and they get their first one. They sure do. And I'm going to tell you something. I, 
enjoyed watching these guys win that game yeah. because uh, we our, our, my, our third game was a half-hour delay. Oh. So uh, I got to watch the end of this game. And nice. I'll tell you, these guys have so much enthusiasm. I mean, really, it's nice to see yeah, it. They're just out there having they fun. They just got to get their heads on straight and keep them on straight. Now that they've won a game, maybe they'll settle down. Um, but they, they only won by three, but that's enough. You yeah, know, that's you only got to score one more. That's than all the other they point. need. That's all so they need. So Purple Gang, I call them the Purple Gang, not purple the Purple Gang. Yeah. Hey, send that logo into Mike. Yes, we'll talk about a little bit. All right, we'll get that, uh, get that back later. Yeah. Warriors 35, Goonies 12, and the Warriors continue their march the Warriors in are two divisions. On, yeah, they are rolling on there. And in, right and now, in the six on six, Matty Ice is quarterback. Yeah, they're, this is a good six on six team. I was talking Same. to them during the, during the game, and they go, oh, no, this one's for fun. The the contact is yeah. serious. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, um, yeah. Blazers over the throwbacks, 42-25, yeah. and now we had predicted that the road might get tougher for the throwbacks. Yes. And, and this it, is and the third has. straight week now that they've been up against, or second or third straight yeah. week, that they went up against a, a really good team. Yep. And they got a hot and, team coming uh, in next week. Yeah, the well, it label. doesn't get... Oh, they got the purple, purple label, label coming, coming off a... Coming off a win, getting coming their first off win. A win. We'll and I believe I am doing that game, so oh. that ought to be interesting. But Jimmy hanging in there. They put yeah, up 25. That, Blazers are a tough team. But man. the you Blazers, have, I don't think they have anything to stay <laughs> with Barry. I really don't. What's up? They, that? Throwbacks no. don't have anything to stay with Barry. No, that's tough, man. Blazers are hard to hang with. If you don't have the speed in, in the secondary, you're not going to stop these guys because Barry's just going to run right by you. You know, you got to double this guy. That's all. That's what they really go for. They go. They look to Barry, especially. Yeah, but you know what? If you double Barry, he'll just run by two guys. I know. I know. Yeah, instead I know. of one. So well, I mean, yeah, double yeah, him. I don't like think he's going to do no. any good if he's on a fly. You're not catching him. No. Uh, like I said, this yeah. kid Chris uh, was the Stay only right guy right. that I saw running neck and neck. Boy, that would be some race too, huh? Yeah, man. Forty yard dash on Championship Sunday. What oh, do you think? I like it. Okay, and now our, our new the new breed. Yes. Over the Lightning, and uh, we just learned that the new breed also has some new players on their team. Uh, uh, some really? former members of the Yambies have huh? jumped on the new breed's okay. team. And the Lightning, again, put up 35. It's, you know... <sighs> Getting tired of saying the same thing about this. Yeah, it, re seriously. We were talking about it in there. It's, it's like the Lightning and the Bears... Should join up because the Lightning have a great offense and the Bears have a really, really good defense. If these two teams could combine, that would be something different. But that's the problem with the Lightning. They have no offense. I mean, no defense. Sorry. The offense is great. It's there. They can chuck it. They can throw it short. They can run it. They can go deep with it. But this defense, for a bunch of athletes that are that good on offense, it's surprising to me that, that they can't stay in coverage or get to the quarterback to put any kind of pressure on them. It's that, and that, that's surprising to me. Well, uh, Bruins over the Cobras, 35-26. Now, I heard in this game that there was a, a pass that was called incomplete that was really on the borderline yeah. of being. I'm sorry we didn't have this one on film, yeah. but it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, Jay now in three weeks three has put up, wait a minute, has put up 110 points. Oof. He put up 35 this week. Pretty good. pretty good, and um, I said, remember, I, I like the Cobras in the shootout off a loss? Yeah. That's another formula I there could tear go, up yeah. and throw I out. I mean, the... Bruins, I think they could have really gotten any serviceable quarterback. This is a team that's already put together. Yeah, but I'm the, No offense to Jay. No offense at all, at all. That's not what I'm trying to say. But this team is put together. They, they know their routes. They know their plays. They know where they're supposed to be. This is a team that's played together, so... Not too much of a surprise. I, 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 got, I got to tell you something, Mike. I, I disagree with your definition of Jay as serviceable. This kid is a good well, not a yes, kid, uh, uh, but he's a yeah, good quarterback. I, I understand that. Yes, he is a good quarterback, <clears throat> and he's been around for a long time. I get that. But to go to a team, if, if you had a team that was like, hey, we need a quarterback, any of these teams, Bruins is one of the ones that you're going to want to jump on because they have everything already in place. Like I said, they have a game plan already in place. They have uh, defenses ready to go. Everything... Is well, I think I them. think it's is, a credit to is, Jay that oh, no, that no, no, no. he picked yes. up the offense so quickly. Yes. Um, but it makes this, it easy. You know, I don't know. I don't like to use the word easy in any game because you never know you. what could I happen. Got I, got, no, I got you. Jay, I'm taking your back here, man. I'm All not. Right? I'm not trying hear, to say right? anything about running Jay down. AJ, you see that? And this is why. This is another reason I like AJ. There's no AJ. No, I'm kidding. No, no. The reason I like AJ keeps his mouth shut. 
Doesn't say anything. He just goes out with his team. Oh, sure. And now he's a coach on the sidelines. And right. he's talking a little bit more because yeah. he's a coach. Of but when he's on the field as a quarterback, if no, he disagrees he's with no. a call, That's true. he'll mention it, shake his head, and, and that'll be the end true, of it. True. So I'm glad to see the Bruins have righted the ship. And, uh, and they're rolling. Geez, where, where are they right now? Bruins are in second place, 4-2 and two right now. Looking good. But that's the Bruins. That's where they always are. You know, they're usually in first, second, you know, depending but, on which division, how it, it all gets set up. But look, Mike, in the beginning of the season, we were looking for a shovel for this team. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we, were we were looking for a shovel. Yeah. Um, and the Cobras have a game in hand at 3-2, and two, but now the Bruins have the tiebreaker over the Cobras. Yep. The, Lightning's, the Lightning has dropped to 3-2. And, two, and uh, you know, things... Yeah. Uh, Things are shaking up a things little bit. Things are getting here a little different. Well, things may be getting shaken up, but there's one thing that's constant: the All Stars 42, Deadly yeah. Assassins. <laughs> the All Stars undefeated during the, the, the Bennett boys. It looks like they gave it their all, but they did. That's a, it's a tough team to beat, man. The All Stars. And now again. Luigi's back on his team too. Luigi's back on. I mean, Bobby Lane isn't there, but you, but oh, we just substituted in Luigi. Now you kind of have that same player that can stay in on the line, block real quick. Quick little dump out, run down the field for 40 yards, 30 yards, you know? So when the two of them are on the line together, I really, th the All-Stars are unbeatable in, in, as far as that. But, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you something about Luigi again. Luigi is deceptively fast. He is. He shuffles he those is. little feet. Because when he gets that 250 pounds rolling, yeah. it's like a, 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 a truck going downhill. Yes, it is. You know, it's tough to, and you want to get in front of him and pull a flag. Because he'll, he'll run you You know, open, Louis, yeah, yeah, SOB. You know, every time I'm ready to, you rise like Lazarus, man. That's right. You've come back from the dead Just more times. Just to prove and, you wrong, Joe. Yeah, you know, Luigi should get a starring role on The Walking Dead. He should. Never goes away. Yeah, well. And All my right. other, and my other uh, pick, uh, upset pick, I really don't know if you can call this out, because Savage no, yeah. is really no, good. I don't think this was so much of an upset. I think this was a... But, you know, again, the Savage is involved in a one-point game. Yeah, Savage is staying right there. They're above that... Uh, that uh, Mendoza even, line. Yeah, the even mark of where they were <laughs> putting up the same amount and giving up the same amount. They're 159 and 157. Woo! They're getting up there. But and they moved. And they moved. Listen, they moved to three and three. They did. There was in one game of both the Cobras and the Savages. Uh, excuse me, and the light and the Lightning. Yeah, man, all day's got got these guys on the right path now. He settled everyone down. The heads are clear. And I'm and doing. You've said it. And I'm doing their game. And you've I'm said it every, every week. Watch out for these guys. Watch out for these guys. Now maybe they start rolling three and three. Here we go. Here we go. I, I want to thank them for not sending us any mysterious posts this week either. Nah. Yeah. We, we haven't figured out that code yet. But yeah, happy team, team. They really just need to. If they could get that. Uh, they're offense, in every game. To, they're in every bit. game. That, you know, that's how close they are. They just need that. Just a little extra on the offense. At, at one extra score, whatever it is, or one extra stop, but they're yeah, they're right there. They're in every game. But yeah, they've always been like this. This is an athletic team that we we've, we've talked about them for a long time. It's another you know, one of those teams can, where you want to avoid you them. Yeah, you don't want to play them. Doesn't matter if they didn't win a game all year. This is one of those teams where it's like, and eh, not in the playoffs. I don't think I want to face this team because they could clip us. They could come and get us right there. All right, and I guess I guess this would have to be called Ooh, an upset. I would right? say so. The Broken Trojans easily handling the Deja Vu. Yeah, Deja Vu. Last, uh, did they, I think they lost last week also. This is... Oh, I don't know. Do, are they missing guys? Is something going on with them? I don't them, know. Or? But it doesn't seem like they are you know, they've dropped. So they've much, dropped right? to four and two now. Right. Broken Trojans are now back to 500, and, and they were... That's Oscar's team. Okay. And any te And that's another thing. Any team that Oscar's on... Watch. Watch. Because yep. he's also got um, uh, Alfredo on that right. team, too. Yep. Your boy. And that's my boy, Alfredo. As a matter of fact, he says his legs are good. You uh -oh. know, he's, he's back in, in pretty good shape. And well, yeah, this was a big win by the Broken Trojans. Yeah, it was. You know? They get him now. Well, yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know. Maybe it's, all about, it's all about tiebreakers. I mean, yeah. I could see the Trojans and <clears throat> leapfrogging uh, Deja Vu and the throwbacks. They could, you know, if they get up there, because the other loss that Deja Vu has is to the Blazers. Yes. So, but yeah, good game by the Broken Trojans. Hey, listen, when we get back, uh, we're going to do the schedule. And before we do the schedule, we have a little note from an old friend of ours yeah. that we're going to lay on the guy. So we'll be right back.
Hey, Joey B here in Mark Perone's hairstyling salon in Morris Plains, New Jersey. And I guess, Mark, I, I have to interrupt you. I guess I caught you at a bad time. Joe. What makes you what you are? First of all, Joe, when you come in here, you're part of the family. We make you feel that comfortable. Whether you're a young kid, older gentleman, or one of my hair piece customers, we make you feel at home here at Mark Perone's. Now, well, we do men's hair replacement, custom hair replacement. Uh, we do uh, little kids are our favorite. We do some women haircuts, but uh, basically it's a men's, a men's barbershop. Back old school with new, with new flair. It's a nice atmosphere and you are all welcome from everywhere. Here's the guy, here's the man. Uh, he uh, owns the shop, cuts the hair, sweeps it out every once in a while too. Yeah. Joey B from Mark Perone's. Come on in and get yourself a nice do. Open Tuesday to Friday, 10 to 7 p.m. Saturday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. Sundays, 10 to 3 p.m. Closed on Mondays. All right, now, you may remember that uh, Tebow made a few appearances on he the did, show. He and did, Unfortunately, oh, uh, work has not permitted him to get away. Yeah. He, you know, he needs to get those write-ups back on there, but he did email us. He did email us, and he's making a lot of money working, obviously, obviously if he can't yeah. get down here. And he sent us a couple of tidbits on, on him. Now, we can't read this yeah. whole thing. Ah. But basically, everything we've been saying... Yeah, you get some good inside information from me, Tebow. Thanks for watching Tebow, the show. Tebow and enhanced us with that. <laughs> but he's promising that uh, if not if not this season, in the we'll see him maybe in the fall. Come yeah. on down and yeah, you hopefully know. we can get him down maybe for whatever. But yeah, work. Hey, work comes first. You know. But he makes but some he knows good he's observations. Welcome. So is everybody in the league. You're always welcome to come on down. Just contact us at either. The email acflfilms at gmail or hit us up through the the, the uh, or if you, if you see me on the field or you see me or after you see I Kevin throw a flag guy, on yeah. you come on down and, yeah and say, so Tebow listen get better all yeah. right uh, you know I know work's a tough thing to do when you haven't been feeling well you've been a little under the weather um yeah, you know we'll get it back this, this weather's been crazy it's, it's like getting sick it weather has. it's doctor's weather it has it one has. day it's 68 another day it's 48 yeah. so. You know, but yeah, he's keep blowing your nose. Keep taking a Motrin. Motrin? Yep. Yeah, that's not that ladies thing, is it? Motrin? No. No, okay. Well, let's see him do that. All right. So, Tebow. Yes. See you soon. Keep the cards and letters coming in. All yes, right. Please. This week, week seven at Hackensack High School Turf Field A. Yeah. Bears Bruins. Uh, Bears Bruins. It's state of the Bears right now. Yeah, you, I think Jay go rolls Bruins. on. Yeah, Bruins roll on. Get the five going. and two. Yep. Uh, Cobras versus Happy Team Team. I'm taking the over in this game. Yeah, I would definitely. Take I don't know the about over. who's gonna win, but I'm taking the over. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the Cobras one more week. You know, I think I've picked them the last two weeks, and they've lost the last two weeks. Uh, hopefully, I'm not mushing them like this guy does. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, Cobras. Happy team, team again. Prove me wrong. This is a you know, good team, Co though. Cobras need to win out. They went out there at five and two, and then the tiebreakers take right. over. But yeah. uh, I think five and two would probably put them in the top four. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely, I think definitely. It would. definitely. Uh, Sharkies, Blazers. The Blazers have returned to BP, yes. and uh, I think it's going to be a long day for BP. Yes, I think it is going to be a beat, uh, long day. I don't think they're getting their first win over the Blazers. Uh, uh, I don't think so yeah. either. I don't think Robbie Lane will let them lose to an 0 16. I don't think so. Oh, he actually he actually played well in that Hawkeyes. He did. He played very well. He played with the Hawkeyes did not play badly, but that's, you know, yeah, that's done. We're done yeah, with that. we really didn't even mention the that. One, that was a it nice was two point game. It, guys, it was a know? two point game. Yeah, so it wasn't any kind of blowout. Oh no! All right, good. Ozone Banana Slugs. Well, <laughs> gotta pick against them. I almost feel like picking them to bug Luigi, you know. But I, I, you know, the Ozone they come off a win. Uh, they have some athletes. I'll stay with the slugs. Slugs need to win this game. I abdicate. Uh, purple, purple label and the throwbacks. Now, interesting game this week. This is because we mentioned the speed. Uh, speed gives the throwbacks a problem. It does. It does. Yes. And um, if one thing purple label has is speed. Yeah. These guys can run, man. 
It, they, yes, they can. But the one thing about Purple Label right now, they are dead last in the defensive rankings right now. I they are giving up that. almost 37 points a game. They are giving up five touchdowns a game. All right? Oh, man, Jimmy knows how to get, move the ball. Jimmy, right? Jimmy can be, move the ball, but right. I'm going to tell you something. I can see him being under a lot of duress in this game. Uh, no, I agree. I agree. That's what I'm saying. This is a very interesting matchup. You know, yeah, Purple Label's only one and four. Throwbacks are, are sitting right there, three and three, mm -hmm. right in the middle. But watch out. They may jump up and bite him. I'm going to go Purple Label on this. I'm going to go Purple Label on it, too, because I think they got a taste of winning now. I think, yeah, they may just and, be and able to jump might, up and get That might have shown them, although it was a three-point game over a team that was winless, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You won the game. You got a taste of the win column taste. now. Oh, the South feels. I like it. Let's keep doing Let's it. Let's keep doing it. Right. So, uh, I, you know what? I think they're just going to outleg the throwbacks. Yeah. I think they're going to outleg them. Yeah. I think you might be right. Greyhawks and Savages. I, I'm going Savages. They're yeah. my they're my watch team. We'll go Savages. Like we said, the man all day has got these guys a little motivated. Getting hopefully, tighter every week, the Savages. yeah. Keep your head in this and, and watch out. This is Again, this is one of those teams that... Just might jump up and bite you. Yeah, but I bet you it's going to be a close game anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a one or two. I'd like to see, if the Savages win, I'd like to see them win by more than a whisker. You yeah, know? As, I'm sure as long as they win, that's all they care about. <laughs> all right, sliding over to the grass field. A very important game. Very important game. Under the new format for the NCAA NIT situation. Game. You have the Express and the Hawkeyes. Um, the Express at two and three. The Hawkeyes at three and two. Right, sitting at seven and eight right now. They're right there, basically in the middle of this pack. This is now, a big game for both teams. Well, for two reasons. Uh, you know, one, to try and get into the top four. Which right. At this point, with the three losses, I think it's a long shot. I think yeah. it's a long shot. Yeah. However, the fifth seed for the sec second tournament is still available. Yes. So, and again... Tiebreakers. I mean, tie I, we, I know you guys are probably getting sick of hearing that word, <laughs> but it really all comes down to tiebreakers. So this yeah. is a big game for the Express and the Hawkeyes. Whoever wins gets the tiebreaker over the other yeah. team. Yeah, we got this weekend is big for the Bulldogs, the Bankers, the Express, and the Hawkeyes right now to see who, like we were saying, get that fifth or first seed. However you want to, whatever. Well, you, call you know it, what? It's a know? it is a first seed. Right. If you finish it is the fifth, you got seed. the number one so, seed. So big weekend for all four of those teams. I don't think. The Bulldogs and the Bankers are playing, which would be interesting if they were. So big, big game for Express. And I wonder, and, and, and I wonder uh, how many guys didn't even know about this second, uh, yeah. the, you know, the uh, second tournament. Yeah, Express is really going to have to watch on their defense right now. Defensively, they're they're not ranked very high. Hawkeyes are, are third in offense, man. They're putting up points. So Express really needs to clamp down on this defense. But that's, you know, the Express period. would be a load. Story. Express would be a load in any tournament that they play in. Yes. So yes. Uh, this is going to this is a tell game for both teams. Yes, it is. Broken Trojans and the Goonies. I think the Trojans take this one. Yeah, I'll go with Trojans. Not too, you know, don't do too too much about the Goonies yet. We still haven't got. Yeah, them I, on. I saw the Goonies. Uh -huh. They were on the field that okay. I was, other field that I was working. The Goonies, they have some players, but they're learning. Yeah, they they need to get up some points here. They're averaging about nine points a game, which is not going to win many games in this league. So. And this is a uh, Uso and Wolfgang. Here we go. So Wolfgang looking for their. Second win. Yeah. Usos need this win. They they really need this to go into this, you know, week eight into the tournament. I, I, t I tell you something, and this Uso team, nice bunch of guys. Oh, yeah. And they come out every week, and they play hard. I still think they got the best uniforms in the yeah. league. And they, and they got some good athletes on this team. They got some speed. But this is, like their third, this is like their third season. Yeah, they got to put it all together. You know, so I'd like yeah, to see yeah. this team start to, to do some – more positive things. I mean, it's you know this is a tough league, man. It's hard to just come on and burst onto the scene and be, you know, in that top three, top five team. This is a, this is a tough league, man. Eight, the eight man is is it's not easy. You know, there's a reason why. You know, it's that's a, that, we talk about six on six being competitive. This is you know in the trenches competitive. Now, this do you is, ever think you'd say on the air the place to be Sunday is Feigl Field? <laughs> yeah, right. In Bogota. You gotta I mean, be in Bogota. You gotta leave the night before to find this place. Oh, I know. Unbelievable. And it starts out but, with a real good one. Yes, it starts out with a bang. All stars, Kodiaks. Number one and number two in, in the uh, offensive rankings. You know, number two and number three in the defensive rankings. This is gonna be a great game. And a lot, and a lot in terms of standings can change in this game. Yes, it can. Because the all stars now 
Should the All-Stars win this game? Now the Kodiaks will have two teams with tiebreakers over them. Yes, they will. They will have the Warriors and the All-Stars, and that means that the best they could do right. would be third. Yeah. Unless the Warriors and the All-Stars fall apart uh, this week and next week. Yeah. We haven't gotten to the, to the Warriors yet in terms of who they're playing. Yeah, we already see the, the Canes are going to get the forfeit. Because they got Sharkies. Right, you know, so the Canes are going to go to 5-1. and one. R- Wrinkle and everything. And they own the tiebreaker over the All-Stars. So this is, yeah, this is a very so this interesting is, this is week, a, man. This is a very, very, very it's a, it's a, it's a pivotal week, week for, for the last week. Yes. This is going to set up week eight, which figures to be, if this week is good, right. next week figures to be awesome. What's nice is probably except for the touch a little bit, you know, AFC with the six-on-six. Six, a lot of things are still up in the air. No, oh, who's going to be I mean, that one, two, even three seed? You know, I mean, it, we've got three teams at four and one. You would <laughs> think that, you would think that three and four is going to come from the, two of those three teams. But think. you never know. Now, if the Kodiaks win the game, that would be the second loss for the All Stars, and the Kodiaks would have the tiebreaker over the All Stars, and that would, means that the All Stars, the best they could do, would be third. Yes. Yeah. And they would actually, uh, if everybody wins out in the top, they already said the Canes have a win. Right. So if the Warriors and the Kodiaks win, they'll both go to 6-1. and one. Canes will be 5-1. and one. Again. Canes have a game in hand. I'd like to know where that game in hand is going, right. too. Yeah. Are they going to play a doubleheader on last week? Well, they have Sharkies. Yeah. Like that they, would put them to 5-2 and two already this year. No, this. You can't, they can't that, play a game on an odd week. The right. playoffs are going to start right away. So the Canes... I, don't might know. well. Can you think of another answer? Because I I can't see it no, any other way. No, that's JT's. Again, that's what JT's yeah. got to worry about. Um, yeah. So I mean, it, it really shakes the out. It doesn't get much easier for the All Stars after this Kodiak's game. They go from eight on eight to six on six, and they're taking on the Warriors, who we've talked about. Well, at least I've been. I'm loving these guys as as a six on six team. Mm. No matter what they say, that oh, this is just for fun. They're having a ball right now because they're four and one in third place, very comfortable. And when I saw them at Slotesburg, they looked, they did look like they were having fun. And again, I'm gonna say it again. I said it that first week. I said it last week. I'm gonna say it again this week. This team is built to play six on six with their speed and their size on the line and and the outside guys that that. Uh, those little ancillary guys that can help, you know, those role players. That, and their defense is good. I think, watch out. Timo, well, I agree with you. They, I believe they are a dark horse, uh, you know, to to win this. And look what that would do to the – I if, say if, chip the, yet, but. If, if the Warriors win this game on Sunday, <laughs> we've already picked the Blazers. The Blazers don't right. have a real tough game against right. BP. I so, mean, I, I, I really – I can see them winning. So the Blazers go to 6-1. and one. Yep. The All Stars would go if they take over first place right there, at, at six and zero. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, if the All Stars get beat, wins. they go to five and one, and the Warriors go to five and one. So now the Warriors would, would move into second. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It, it is it, crazy. Really, I mean, the result. Everybody's be looking for results this Sunday because oh it's going to be I wild. Get these up quick. Get really, them up quick. I really would. And then in the Final Feigl <laughs> Field game. How's yeah. that sound? Final Feigl Field game. Final Feigl Field. Yeah, yeah. Right. Whatever you said. Warriors and the Bulldogs, I love the Warriors in this yeah, game. and this is – but, you know, this is that. Bulldogs need this win. Yeah, Warriors need this win, but right now they're sitting at first place. Yeah, we said it's hard to stay at, in first place, but they got a little wiggle room. You know, they're at the top right now. They got the little wiggle room. They got the, the, the win over the Kodiak, so they got that game. Bulldogs, if they want to jump into that – the four tournament uh-huh. – they need this win. Look, like I said before, Bankers, Bulldogs, Hawkeyes Express, big games. This the weekend. Bulldogs have been offensively challenged all year. They have. They yeah. have been offensively challenged all year. They have. Where the offense of the Warriors, Jules looks pretty comfortable at quarterback. He does. Yeah. You yeah, know, he really and, does. and again, Alfredo. Oh, I just saw David walk by the studio. All right. Um, we've got to talk to him later. Uh, anyway, getting back to this. Uh, I, I got to believe that the the bulldog offense is is not going to be good enough to beat the Warriors. It's gonna be it's uh, yeah it's gonna be. I tough, mean Alfredo man. would have to rush for like 250 yards. Yeah, they're they're scoring about 15 points a game. And right that's now. not going to get it done. You know, on the other hand, uh, uh, Warriors are only putting up 20 points a game. So but, this but we is, said this about the Warriors. They do what they have to do to that win under six they, on six. They, they play don't. to the level of their competition. Sometimes a little below the level, but this season they seem to be really. 
hitting their stride, man, especially in both leagues. It, good for you, Warriors, you know? Yeah, so we'll see. So I'm, I'm going with Warriors over the Bulldogs. Yeah, I'll take the Warriors. Which will, again, secure yeah, their see. position. Yeah. Secure, because I think one. the Warriors are going to end up playing the All-Stars in Week 8. Oof. So that, that is a very important game for the Warriors to win. It's coming down. Oh. You know, very important Excellent game for the Warriors job. to win. I have to applaud the uh, schedule maker. This season. He did a this great, and we're not an done yet. Excellent job. We're going. No, we we're not. going to Lancaster Field. Plan Maybe B. Underwater this week. <laughs> Plan B over the Bankers. Um, really, the Bankers <coughs> to stay bankers in the mix. Need this game again. To here stay it comes. in the top four. Yep, those four. Or to have a chance at this the is, top four. You know, and and Plan B is that team outside those top four right now in the second in the second tournament that wants to jump in. They're tied with the Express right now at two and three. All right. That fifth so, seed, the fifth seed, right, is so a there big it is. seed. And they, if they want to jump into this, this is big. All right, we'll throw Plan B in as, as a huge game. So we got Bankers, Bulldogs, Hawkeyes. Exp everybody has a big game this weekend. I, I'm losing it. A team and the Barracudas. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, pick we'll go the A team. team. We we'll have go no 18. choice in this one. It's not the playoffs, right? So we'll go A team. That's right. Not yet. <laughs> Wildcats, Grand Street Slaughterhouse. My Wildcats are gonna win this game Sunday. Yeah. All right. I'll go Slaughterhouse just to spice it up. All right. Uh, switching over to Davies Field in Park Ridge. Lightning and nice snatch. I think the Lightning, Lightning get back should on, rebound the winning, off of this. on the winning. And they need a win, boy. They really do. They really do. Right now, they're three and two. I think they lost two in a row. Um, they've had two tough games. Not saying that that's an excuse at, at all. They need defense, damn it. They need defense. If the Savages win, they would slide into fourth place by a half a game. Again, the Lightning have a game in hand here somewhere yes. because they're three and two. So there's going to be, All they right. might be an extra week or, or double headers for Maybe. some of these teams, which is not fun. Playing double headers is not fun. Yeah. But uh, again, so the Lightning need this game lightning big need time. This game just to stay pace, just to keep pace with those, with the, you know, stay in fourth place, really. Yeah. Savages are ready to take it over. Yeah, you they know, are. They're ready. They, they're, really they are primed and ready to take this. So Lightning, get that defense together, man. And uh, right after them is the Deja Vu yeah, and, and, and the, the Assassin and the Bennett Boys. Now, listen, Deja Vu got their fannies kicked last week. They sure did, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if they were missing guys or whatever, and it's Mother's Day. We left that and, out. Oh, my goodness, yes. How? So I, making I, I all believe, these picks thinking that it's a normal Sunday. There could be a lot of people. This could be the week that... Everything just gets sh shaken up because of, of people not being there. And, and you know, we got a, we got a um, on the message board that uh, Playboy, who spells it P L A Y B O I. I like the distinction separating himself. But he came up on the on the board last night saying, "Hey guys, yeah. what are you guys gonna do when you tape your show? Because you don't know who's gonna be there. Yeah, you don't know who's not gonna be there. That's true. You know, you know I, I got the feeling that all the early, the, the eight thirty and ten o'clock game will not be a problem. Yeah, I, I I'll have to. Agree I with think you that, that will be less of a problem Definitely than the eleven thirty game. Yeah. The eleven thirty games get a little be, stuffy. But yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So that's where we're at, buddy. Uh, that's right. Yeah. I'm Long show today, but we had a lot to we get done. We did a lot to get through. So this Sunday, huge games all around. I can't wait to see the scores. That is right. At the end of Sunday. So, Remember, Joey guys, oh, oh. remember uh, logos? We mentioned Purple Label. Blazers, I know you have one. I've seen it on your shirt. All-Stars, send me it, please. It would be great. ACFLfilms at gmail.com. Just send me the JPEG. Just so uh, I have the right logo for you. And don't forget, if you want to purchase... Uh, the, the DVD of your game that was filmed, you can do that for 10 bucks. Easy, Grandpa. Nobody uses DVDs anymore. What is it called? Just don't worry about it. All right. If you want to I'll pick the digital If copy you want a, a copy of your filmed game, how's that? You can bring me up on the, the rotary telephone, right? Is that filmed All game? Right. Yes. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, 52 is only one month, less than a month away here for Joey B. <laughs> uh, but as long, look, as long as I got this going on, I keep people, you can't do that. No, I can't. You can't. You stop up here, you stop. Yeah. All right. Enjoy the game. Stay safe. Yeah. We'll see you next week. And happy Mother's Day. Yeah, all the mothers. Give them a kiss. New York City is the largest market for broadcast media.
It's the epicenter for the TV and radio industry. If you ever had a dream of working in the thrilling broadcast world, then make it a reality by going to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. CSB has helped numerous people get a job with hands-on training and a learn-by-doing mentality. You will learn all of the high-tech equipment in the TV and radio studios. From hosting your own radio show to being a news or sports anchor, operating a camera in the TV studio, or editing audio and video, the choice is yours. Graduates from CSB have gone on to work at some of the major companies in the industry. To get more information, call 1-800-TV-RADIO or check us out at GoCSB.com. Your road to success starts here at the Connecticut School of Broadcasting.